Hey guys, Rich, our Jemathan Timber Frame Company made Timber Framer. Uh, today I'm working on our Genie TZ34-20 man lift, uh, doing some work on installing a door, and all of a sudden this thing wouldn't do anything. Every time you turn the key on to the platform position, it would just beep, 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 beep. So did some troubleshooting. Uh, long story short, had to take a grinder to cut off the screws because the rivet nuts inside were spinning around. So we got that off. Let me take this off and show you what's going on inside here. So this is what it looks like uh, inside. And what I did was I went through and I disconnected here, which is the beeper. And the beeper is making a heck of a lot of noise. I mean, it was just drive you crazy. So I disconnected one of these. Uh, and then what I went did is... Um, Turn the key in the on position on the platform. And then what I started doing was going through and holding one of the lightning bolts and going down through and uh, touching each of the buttons and to see what was going on. So you've got your relays that are up top here. So you could hear the relay clicking. And then also, if you, if you put your ear to where uh, you were pushing the button. So for instance, if you were pushing this leg, if you listened over here, you could hear the relay in the leg as well. So after going through the troubleshooting on this, what I found was I could not hear the relay in this leg over here. That's why it was beeping. That's why the legs wouldn't go down. It would work in the mast mode, but it wouldn't work. Uh, in the uh, platform mode. So after doing that, I went through and checked the wires, disconnected and reconnected uh, down here. And now what I've got is the machine is now working and the beeping is gone. So going through it again real quick with the beeping noise, take the cover off. I disconnected one of these lines here for the buzzer so it doesn't uh, drive you crazy. Turn the key to the platform position, which is the one on the right and then go through, and it's almost a two-handed operation, two or three. You're going to hold the lightning bolt and then touch each of these different positions to hear the relay going on inside here. And if that relay is good, then you're listening for the relay in each of the sending units or the receiving units on, whether it's the legs or the mass, to see if you're getting a signal there. And that's what I was able to do. I found we didn't have a signal uh, down here, I couldn't I couldn't hear any clicking in this particular leg, so I went through and basically only had to disconnect, reconnect it a couple times, do a little bit of tap 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 a -roo on the. Let me show you where I did that. A little bit of tapping, uh, tapped on this unit here, uh, and tapped on this unit here, uh, just a little bit, and it seems to come right back into it. So now I'm able to turn it on, no buzzer and it's back to being operational. So I looked for a lot of videos online for this. I didn't see any, so I thought I'd share that with you. Uh, all right, give me some feedback. Click like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.